No, I mean, we got to be better. We still got to take care of business. Um, and, uh, yeah, we still got to take care of business regardless. Uh, down, down the stretch, only eight points in the final eight minutes there. What, was it the same thing, just exhausted? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think so. Were you surprised that in the second quarter you thought as well as you could play that team and then were you surprised so that it went away in the second half? Uh, a little bit. I mean, we gave them confidence early. Um, uh, scoring the ball and then, you know, uh, we buckled down and, and was better in the second quarter. Um, but, you know, you can't just necessarily turn it on and off. You know, I know guys were um, trying out there um, and giving their best, but you can't just turn it on and off. And we gave them confidence to start that third quarter. Uh, it was just trading baskets, and then we ran out of gas, and they kind of picked it up and out. So we got to tip our hats to them. Julius, you, you guys, like, have, have gotten to this, this point of success, really, because you play as hard as you do as a team every night. Mm -hmm. Is when you when you sense that happening in the moment, what are you trying to do in order to get more out of yourself and, and the rest of the team just squeeze out a little more? Uh, I think it's just mentally. Um, at that point, you know, all the work that you've done up until that point in the summer and what you put into your body and, you know, the, the sleep and recovery is important as well, um, you know, so uh, you got to take that into account. Uh, but mentally, you know, you got to be willing to, you know, push through. And um, I think we tried. We just we just didn't, um, we didn't make enough plays uh, defensively, obviously, down the stretch and then offensively. Um, you know, we weren't good down the stretch as well, so. Hey, Julius, Emmanuel uh, tonight and then against Boston ran the point. And, you know, earlier in the season he had a stint where that happened because Jalen was out. Is there anything different you've noticed to his approach, you know, in, in running the offense being the, the nominal point guard? No, he's really good, man. Um, you know, um, he can shoot three, he can get in the paint, make plays. Uh, he can pass. Um, competes on the defensive end. He's just a really, really good basketball player and, and easy to play with. So um, it's great to see him take the step that he has this year. Hey, Coach. Um, hey. You guys really good rebounding this season. How rebounded tonight? Obviously, it's bound to happen. But what can you learn from this performance in the rebounding department going forward? Yeah, I think that that was a big thing. Um, they beat us to the long rebounds. You know, ball went over our heads. So. You know, it's important when the ball is shot, particularly, you know, it's shot from the perimeter. We got to get to bodies because if you run in, it's going to it's going to go long, you know. So um, I thought played really well in the first half. And then obviously we didn't play as well as we would have liked in the second half. So uh, when we came out, we had a 16 point lead. And then the first three or four minutes, we just traded buckets. And so we were playing with fire there, and then uh, we fell short in the end. You, you talked a lot this year about Julius' advancements, how much of that has to do with just like when we put a role where last year he had to do so much facilitating and how much Julius has kind of been that burden off of him and allowed him to be in. In random games like this, when Julius is just not able to play, especially during crunch time when you guys run a lot of stuff through Julius, how do you make it so that Yeah, you know, and I don't know if you put it on any one particular thing. I just thought, you know, we and I want to look at the film. You know, RJ got going pretty good, and they went to the blitz on RJ, and usually we're pretty good with that, moving the ball to the backside. And when we did move the ball to the backside, you know, we we didn't make shots, and that's that's a big part of it. So, um, you know, he he was the one guy that was going pretty good. Uh, you know, so some nights the ball doesn't go in. When it doesn't go in, we got to be able to win it with our defense and our rebounding. And I thought those two things weren't there. The low turnovers were there. We always talk about defend, rebound, low turnover. That'll put you in position to win, to win regardless of how you shoot the ball. So, uh, you know, our defense wasn't there. The rebounding wasn't there. So we didn't give ourselves a chance to win it in the end. Yeah, and you know, like you, you still want to be able to navigate through that. You know, like to me, 
sometimes if the ball's not going in, you let that take away from other parts of your game. Uh, you know, we didn't get any easy scoring opportunities. Like uh, sometimes that, that can get you going. You know, and uh, but you know, like we we got to learn from it. We got to get better. It doesn't stop. You know, so we know uh, we're heading out to Sacramento, and they're an unbelievable offensive team. So we're going to have to be at our best. Well, you know, the, as the game's unfolding, yeah, you're trying to buy, you know, like I like the way we played in the second quarter and then, uh, you know, it got ramped up pretty good and then you're looking at who they have on the floor and then what are the best matchups for us. And, you know, that being said, you know, it's, it's, it's a two-point game with a short amount of time. I thought, you know, I want to see the film, but I thought the, the uh, offensive foul on Mitch on the screen was a big play in the game. You know, and I, you know, I know like they say, you, you know, your your legs can't be outside of your shoulders. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen a screen set yet where your screen, your your legs aren't outside your shoulder. Tom, obviously, you never want to lose a game, but you preach all the time about how anybody in the league can beat you, and you have to bring it every night. I mean, is this almost a helpful reminder, or do you hope it will? Some you look back at it as a helpful reminder that. Uh, yeah, well, you, you know, when we try to say, look, that you know, they're record is not an indication of you know their talent they've had a lot of guys out with injuries and they're playing really good right now they you know their last 10 games they're five and five so and I've seen them a bunch of times you know obviously you know Steve's a good friend and I, I watch them play where they come back and you know I knew that our lead wasn't safe you know you got to play for 48 minutes against them you know Rozier is a big time player Hayward uh, is a big time player you know, so Washington is coming back. He's a very explosive uh, player. So we knew, you know, Oubre can get going, and, and he got going too. So, you know, they they had guys that were out there that can score. You know, and if you're not on it, it's going to be a problem. So, but to your point, Mike, it's like every, everyone in this league is talented. You know, so uh, you got to play with an edge, and you got to play for 48 minutes. You know, if you fall short, you you see it in the in, Every night, there's big leads that dissipate very quickly, and so and that's why you can never let your guard down, and you, and you certainly can never feel too good about yourself because you know there's you know you know what's looming around the corner. RJ second quarter came out like regardless of the scoring, came out like he had the wraparound pass, like he had that bounce pass to Hartenstein, he had that bounce pass to Harden transition, he he was just he seemed to be making all the right. Well, I thought, you know, his aggressiveness going to the basket and then making his decision based on where the big was, you know. So if he was all the way back, you know, he can finish. If he comes up, wrap around and find Mitch. And then, the, you know, what they did is they adjusted to the blitz. So any time a player gets going like the way he was going, that's the next step. And then we always say, get to your three outlets, know your progressions, make the second pass against the Blitz, and it's easy offense. But we didn't make shots. So I think we, we made nine threes in the, in, the, uh, in the first half, and we made two in the second. You know, so, and usually if, you know, if they're blitzing and you're making your threes, that you're going to make them make another decision. You know. Pardon? A lot, you know, like and, and as we, you know, go through the season, I, I don't want us to change our approach, and I, and that's what I really like about this team, is just concentrate on exactly what's in front of you. So, learn from tonight, then you know tomorrow we it's all about getting ready for Sacramento. Don't look ahead, just think about the improvements we have to make. Get ready for that game, and then when that game's gone, get ready for the next one. Just go, keep going step by step. Don't jump ahead. Uh, and we know we're we're playing really good teams, and you you know I think this time of the season, you also realize the intensity is going to be there. You know because of whether it's a play in or a playoff or seeding or whatever it might be, and even tonight, like you, you're playing a team that you know there's guys that are playing that are fighting 
for roster spots, for playing time. There's always motivation in this league. So you can never, never shortcut the preparation that goes into playing each night and what goes into winning each night. And I think if you're building the right habits, you know, we're not going to be perfect. And tonight we, we didn't play, a, you know, a great game, but bounce back tomorrow. Just And that's, you know, even at the end, like I, I said, I want us to have the belief that no matter where we are in the game, we could always find a way to win and be mentally tough. So it wasn't going our way, but we'll make it go our way. So in the end, we fell short, ran out of time. Tomorrow we get ready for the next one.